Hey, this is Tiny House Challenge video number two. Just before Christmas, we started a new series which looks into the design of tiny buildings. The whole idea is, of course, it's not just about the design, but it's about uh, going through a um, relatively simple design exercise through all all stages of a design. By doing that, we can use all kinds of tools and techniques and we'll see where we get to. At the end of the first video, I we started to look into on how we could optimize our initial massing idea with a tool which is called Galapagos. Galapagos is an optimization tool within the standard installation of Grasshopper. It helps to optimize 3D models. So for example, you can set a goal. For example, my goal would be I have uh, a limit of certain square meter which I can which I cannot uh, exceed and this tool could help you to achieve that goal. Back then I also promised that I will look that we will look into Octopus. Octopus is a third party plugin. It's also an optimization tool. The difference is that it can take multiple goals at at a time. So for for example you could say I want to have my objects should have a certain volume. It should be should maximize the volume by minimizing its uh, surface area. Yeah, there's nothing else to say now, except that we jump in and we will try to use Octopus. Hopefully, you can remember we used uh, Galapagos uh, to optim to try to optimize the massing model. And uh, you might also remember that we we looked into Miro, which is like a collaborative kind of whiteboard uh, online tool where you can uh, gather all your thoughts and and uh, reference images and details and ideas. And one of the things which I mentioned was very important are the constraints. And in the brief, in the brief, because I took this from a competition, uh, the brief says it cannot be more than the maximum area and i i assume it's the in indoor the maximum indoor area cannot be more than 300 square meter ah uh, sorry 300 square feet and that's around 27.8 square meter so we of course want to maximize that we want to max it out as much as possible there was not much else uh, really I found some other constraints which were not in the brief. There's also some other requirements. It need to be for two people. Mobility is important. You need to have these rooms or let's say these uh, areas. They can of course overlap, which they will for sure. And I also looked at the typical uh, trailers because it's need to be mobile and they have certain lengths. So this is another constraint. Yeah, and that we and then we had a, this very simple uh, sketch where we thought a bit what what should what are the initial bigger massings within that model. So we have this uh, kitchen toilet um, workspace. Then we have a more casual dining area, or maybe it could be openable and becomes a stage or something. And and then we have a sleeping area. And there was some uh, fixed fixed constraints like heights. Which we, we which we keep fixed and it was mainly about the length so the length are within these are variable and of course we could look at this from different angles to be but it's it's just a way to start with we need to start somewhere right this is my current model we also will use this as an opportunity to clean up in in Galapagos what's very good is that you can set a maximum minimum or you can set a target value that's uh, pretty cool we came to this um, well, we came to this output. Uh, we have slightly over. We're slightly over with the square meter and um, the length, but the length is relatively short. So we could maybe think of other ways to kind of extend this a bit because we have actually, when we look at the trailer here on the smallest, we have 84, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 8 meters, 8.4 meters length if we use that trailer. But again, it's an example. I would just copy this. And I will put the slider here so we can have a second option here or a second version, which where we use uh, Octopus. By the way, if you have not installed Octopus, there is currently a version for Rhino 6, but it also works for Rhino 7. I already tried it. It works fine. Octopus is actually a collection of more than just one component. This is the main component. It's probably the oldest. 
but there are also other stuff like uh, there's a looper and there are uh, machine learning tools and stuff like that hopefully we can have a look at this this looks very interesting very interesting okay i want to clean up here a bit uh, and explain again the model i will delete this we don't need that so we have a start point if i make this visible you can see it here this is my start point from that i create a box and we're measuring the square meter sorry um i create a plane first and then i create a box out of it with the height because i'm more concerned about the square meter rather than the volume it needs to have a certain height this is the the minimum height for tiny houses in the us so it takes some us standards here it could be also uk maybe they have a different standard just an example so this is my minimum height and we might need to think about the model a bit more but for now that's how it is and then we have a slider so this is a fixed value and then we have a slider which with which we can change the width or the length of the of this the two these two volumes oh sorry this is not sorry no this is not the height this is the minimum width so we of course we we want to max out the, the width of 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 our building sitting on this um, trailer and the trailers are all like they have all this size and there are some spaces for the wheels we need to consider later that might take away some some of the area in any case that is the minimum width of this and there's a fixed value and then we have the length call it length kitchen and then we have the minimum height for the interior space the lower level at least I don't know how that is regulated with the upper level where it's much lower this is just a sleeping uh, area and then we have the second volume here where we can also change the length and i thought it would be good to have a minimum to set the minimum um here so it cannot go lower than that maybe the minimum is at least two meter and here the minimum is at least three meter so it's set here three and here we set two and then this is the height of the sleeping area because we also have a height restriction of, of the entire building because of the bridge headroom bridges the lowest headrooms are slightly higher than this building so we built from from these values we built uh, these three volumes with um, a component which calculates the square meter and this is the and here's the combined length of the two the length of the kitchen the length of the dining area that's uh, one value and let's maybe move this here so i'll call this input combine this we call this the geometry oh i didn't know this is so cool look with double click on one of these i can create a, a relay i love relays and then we have results here and here i just hide these wires they just they're just annoying so these are this is just a visualization of these boxes the blue the kitchen green is the sleeping area and purple is or magenta is the uh, dining area just changing the wires here kind of create a bit more space all right now it's all a bit more cleaned up it's actually this is just the important bit and that's what we need as output so it works pretty much similar as the um as galapagos really but yeah let's um go from here same as in galapagos we have genome and the fitness and here it's called genome and objective and i also know now why it's called an octopus because you will see it right away so for the genome the parameters we're gonna just uh just click here and pull it this down and we're gonna tag it to here you have this faint line here and we do the same again but this time with uh, shift we can add it we can add another one so why does it doesn't work now of course now it worked <laughs> when i turn off the camera it works okay with shift you can add it here this tool will play with these parameters to change and will observe what's happening here and in contrast to what we did previously because we can only look at one value we here we can actually look at any any amount of values of course it becomes slower the program becomes slower the more goals you're gonna feed it and octopus is slightly different the problem what i saw what i felt is that you cannot put so it would always calculate it always try it, it will always um 
try to optimize towards the minimum. It will always try to minimize everything. And you cannot set a target. What was nice in Galapagos is that you can set a, a target. You can set either minimum or maximum. Maximize everything, minimize everything, or set a, a specific goal. And that you don't have in Octopus, which is a bit annoying. Because I like that feature the most in Galapagos. In Octopus, we don't have that. So, but yeah, you will see it right away. And we can still use it. So now the goals are here and my th the thinking is that ideally we want to have of course the maximum the maximum area with the smallest trailer. So ideally we have a very small trailer with the maximum of square feet as, or square meter. So but because everything is minimizing we need to do something with these values. So we want to minimize the length of the of the trailer. That's what we want to minimize. So that can just, so we can just connect here. Oh, sorry. Uh, one more thing, yes, in Octopus we need, we only can connect numbers here. So we need to add this uh, tool here for the area. Area. And we could calculate all the area together, but I think this is nicer to have these different areas, different values. And then fourth one for the length. Now we need we can add this here and of course we can have a mass addition. This is for us to review what the, the output is at the end and uh, a panel. So the, at the moment we have 31, it's slightly over and here we have probably, yeah, 7, 7.18. That's actually under un, under the, the well, under the smallest trailer I found, but maybe there are smaller ones. So we have connected this one. Now, because we want to maximize these areas, we need to do something with these, with this output here before we plug it in. And I would also name it, name these. So instead of number, I will call this kitchen, sleeping, dining. And if we want uh, Octopus to calculate the max or to push for the maximum in these area, in this square meter, we need to make it negative. It's either you do it like this, or you can also, what I like better actually here is I just add an expression. X is the incoming number times minus one. So I then don't need this. Do the same here and here. And now I can connect these. Again, you need to press shift to not lose the connection to the others. So you can see, call this number kitchen, number sleeping and number dining. And then here we have length. Okay, now double click, the moment of truth. Okay, I just say something right away. I, f I feel it's very, it's not very intuitive, this whole thing. But I also didn't have so much time to, to really learn it. But um, I looked at some of the presentations of the developer and also some tutorials. And I think I have a grasp on how it works. So we have this Cartesian coordinate system where we're going to see our parameters in a different axis. And with this, by clicking this one, we add... Um, an option here, genetic diversity. I will see that it will just, it's a, it's basically another factor which then allows these different options to show within that 3D space here. I will not change anything here for now. Maybe we have time at some point to look in all this a bit more in detail. Probably when we then figure out we did everything wrong. Uh, no, no. But um, yeah, we can just start. So we have the length, kitchen, sleeping, dining. It's all there. And here is um, an option to to write the maximum to to limit the the visual output here. But for now, we don't need to use this either. So I will just run this. It's so weird. It always closes the thing. So now it starts to now it starts to work for this. This looks pretty awesome. So I can stop it here. I think we have enough iterations for now. Maybe a bit longer. Stop. Okay. So it mapped out this all these like different um, options and it just stopped at the last one that might be not really what we're looking for but let's let's have a look what's going on here so as you can see we're looking we we want to have the maximum the maximum total area and in that case for me it was easier to just look here what the output is so currently we have the length is 10 meter that would be the biggest option probably 
if I remember correctly. Yeah, 10.8 meters length and we, with the result of 48 meters. Uh, 48 square meter yeah, so that's far far above what we're looking for so now we can navigate within that uh, new 3d space and um, we can navigate these different options so for example i could um, click one and then reinstate and you can see okay here we are about at the 35 square meter when i when i click reinstate it's gonna update also the model here just show you very quickly yeah still to big this is already closer to what we're looking for i think this is pretty much exactly there we can then and then there are, it has a lot of different features you can delete these uh, all the different options you don't want uh, you can export it you can export stuff here don't know exactly how it works um i don't mind for now this is all what i want to show you and there it has a lot of different applications of course you can do much more crazy things with this for example I would just check out I think there's there are several really good um, tutorials so I would check out this tutorial here uh, it's called genetic optimization octopus plugin by Robert by Robert Verlinger so I think he's the the guy he's the guy who creates these stuff so this this tutorial shows much more complex stuff um, and I would I would check it out if you're interested, just um, to get your head around. I think this was the best tutorial I found. There's some others. Reinhard König has a very... He goes very deep into the into this uh, material. I, I think he knows everything about it. There are others. But yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you. Funny is that we're actually quite below the typical trailer size or trailer length. So 6.8 meters... If we go back to our mirror board and look here, normally you would have 8.4. I will have a look if there are other trailers, smaller ones. So that's an option. Or we might also look into ways where we put maybe the sleeping area on the ground and we have a roof garden. So anyway, so this we can discuss that in the next video. So in the next video, we will discuss. We can discuss that in the next video. So for now, we have these two models. They are very similar. They're very similar, really. Both um, kind of optimized. If I export this here, 6.5. And it's slightly above the square meter we, uh, we are allow which is allowed. And in, in now, in that case, we are very spot on. Here in that, particular option the dining area is pretty big but yeah we'll see we'll see okay let's do the same here 6.8 so it's actually longer with less square meter so in, in a way this was a bit more successful <laughs> actually but i mean this is just one iteration it's just one of these many many iterations we saw just now which is still here so we still could look at other options and we could plot out or save others other iterations which also work in any case i hope you like this video and uh, in the next video we will go more into the design into the design of the tiny house see you in the next video